Johnson again, Richard's Adventures. Today we have two quizzes, one's Isle of Wight, one's Trains. First we're doing the Isle of Wight questions, there are 14 of those. Um, the train one, we have seven. But firstly, let's start off <coughs> with the Isle of Wight one. And uh, get your pen and paper ready. Pause the screen if you haven't got the pen and paper. I can wait for a bit, and then you come back. Pause the screen, just what you're doing, and come back. Okay? This is going to be a multiple question answer, so... Um, bit of a challenge for you. It's fun questions, actually. So if you know the Isle of Wight, brilliant. If you don't, is it the Isle of Wight uh, in this country? So, yeah. Okay, off we go. First one is ho hovercraft related. Uh, this is the modern hovercraft, that's in the Isle of Wight I've got now up to date. Um, how many knots does the hovercraft do? Is it 40 knots, 45 knots, or 35 knots? So 40 knots, 45, or 35 knots. Just drop one of those down, and then we go to the next, person, next question. Places on the island, I can mention places on the island now. Where is Shide? And that's spelled S-H-I-D-E. -E. That's Shide. Where's Shide? Is it near Newport? Is it near West Cows? Or is it near East Cows? It's one of them. Question number three. Animal related now. Zoo. Sound down zoo. as what it's called. But where is it? Is it in Sandown, Yarvaland, or West Cliff. It's a bit of a tricky one, that is. So think about that. This one's a very interesting one because it's just dating back quite a bit. Needles on the Isle of Wight had, um, it gets its name because of a rock that stood vertically quite a way up. It's very tall, it, it, it crashed years ago. But how tall was the needle? Was it 130 feet? 120 feet? Or 140 feet, that's 130, 120, or 140. What one is it? Next one. The Isle of Wight, as the question's about. How many crossings are there to the island? In other words, how, how by sea, how, how many ways are there to get there? Um, paying to get across, being paid to get across, yeah. Is it six ways, seven ways, or five ways? All public, though. Right? Question number six. What is the Pluto pipeline? So, what is the Pluto pipeline? There'll be more on these questions later on. So, it might help you out when you go back to this one. Question number seven now. Isle of Wight is the most haunted island in the world. But where is the most haunted part of the island? Is it Nighton, as in spelt K-N-I-G-H-T-T-O-N, and Yarmouth, Y-A-R-M-O-U-T-H, or Ride, R-Y-D-E? Which one is it? Next question, question number eight. St. Catherine's Lighthouse was built in 1838. But how many steps are there to, to the lantern up to the lighthouse? Is it 95, 94 or 93? Write them down. Number nine now. Isle of Wight's space programme, Britain's space programme, tested Black, Black Knight and Black Arrow rocket engines. Where was it? Yep. Rockets on the island. <laughs> um, was it high down above the needles? Or was it near the needles? Or was it in Allen Bay? One of those places. Alright, number 10 now. Can you get coloured sands on the Isle of Wight? Just yes or no. It's a simple answer I want. Number 11. Where is Hurst Castle? It's, it's located on the... Sh I'll give you a good idea of where it's located. It's located on a shingle spit that extends one and a half miles out to mainland Britain. The castle was just three quarters of a mile from the Isle of Wight. But where is it? Is it in 
These are the cho choices. Is it a new town, Yarmouth, or Annan Bay? One of those. Number 12. This is a tricky one. What's Cow's Week? Cow's as is spelled C O W E S. I'll put that across the screen. The name Cow's. What is Cow's Week? Is it Roundley Island Yacht Race? Or is it Roundley Island Cow Race? Or is it Roundley Island Car Race? It's one of them. Number 13, the Pluto Pipeline again. Pluto Pipeline, how many miles was it out to sea? 710 miles, 700 miles, or 715 miles? Interesting. Let's put one of those answers. Now, this is going to be a bit tricky for you. This one's tricky because this is an interesting one. This is for you Americans, if you can get this. The British people, if you get this, it's a bonus. <laughs> did the Pluto pipeline, did the Americans help out? Yes or no, did you help out? But if you could abbreviate that in a bit more detail, that'd be brilliant. A bit extra point for that. Okay, all done, all sorted out. I'm going to give you the answers now. So we're doing the answers to the Isle of Wight quiz before we get to the train quiz because the train quiz is a good one as well because picture related. Okay. Isle of Wight. How many knots does the other craft do? Answer is 45 knots. It does 45 knots. Number two, where is Shide? It's near Newport. It's only walking distance, but it's like a town. You walk for it, miss it's gone. Is that is that small? <gasps> It's only got a few shops, apparently. Number three, Soundown Zoo. It's in Yarvaland. Despite it's called Soundown Zoo, it's because Soundown's like a main town. It's nearby, and everybody knows Soundown. Yarvaland's like up the road. It's not much. It's not much there. And you think, where is it? Yeah, they do that so you know it's near Soundown itself. It's near it. It's like on a borderline. You could say right on the borderline. You cross. You walk across the. Down the road and you're in Sandown. Crawl across the road, you're in Sandown. We're well, in Yarvaland, which is in which is Sandown. So confusing, isn't it? Very confusing. But interesting another than that. But Yarv Yarvaland's the right word. That's been Y A Y Y A R V E R L A N D. That's Yarvaland. Number four. Needles the Isle of Wight was uh was a rock standing how I told Needles Rock. That's 120 feet, but if you get it in metres, that's 36.6 metres, if you put that in metres. Okay. How many crossings to the island? The answer is seven. Pluto Pipeline. What was it for? Basically, it was carrying fuel, right, far out, and come to the England fuel. I think, it's from, I think it's from Amsterdam, that way, coming the way, that way through Holland, coming through that way. It was carrying fuel to power the vehicles and that. Number seven. Isle of Wight is the most haunted place in the Isle of Wight, but where's the most haunted place? And he has his night on. That's K-N-I-G-H-T-O-N. Night on. Catherine's Lighthouse. Was built in 1838. How many steps did it had? The answer is 94 steps. For the uh, steps from the bottom to the top to the land. On St Catherine's Lighthouse. Number nine. Isle of Wight space programme. You know, I told you about the rockets. They tested there. Never think. Where was it? And the answer is high down near the needles. Number ten. Is there coloured sand on the Isle of Wight? The answer is yes, there is. I went in the other room just to show you something, just to prove it you've got your coloured sands. Bit of an evidence. There is a coloured sands. Not many colours left, but they're the sands, yeah. They used to do black and green and all that, that would be awesome. Uh, next question, 11. 
Where is Hurt Castle? And asked you about that where it wasn't that. It's in Yarmouth. Hurt Castle's in Yarmouth. I didn't even know that myself. Funny, my mum knew that. Or I didn't know that. Goes to show you that much about the other way. <laughs> All right. If it's out the way, that's why. Number 12. Cow's Week, as in C-O-W-E-S. I told you about that. Cow's Week is the famous Isle of Wight round the yacht race. They do sail around the whole of the island. It's not an easy race because it gets quite windy. And how many miles is the Pluto pipeline? At 715. Sorry. My mistake. 710. <laughs> Look at the wrong answer now, do it. 710, yeah. Okay. The last one was, did Americans help out in the Pluto pipeline? The answer is yes, they did. They helped build 114 miles of the pipe itself. So yeah, well done, Americans. Okay. Now the train quiz. You'll love this. It's picture related. You've got to get it right. It's going to be a bit of fun. Seven questions. Here we go. The first question for the first picture, what, what TV show is this famous train from? And off you go, answer it. One question I forgot to put in by the editing, but it is. The first question was, where's this famous TV train from? Famous TV show. It's also been a film, so let me know. Here comes the picture. Okay, the next number two question, train one. The 16B bus to Ventnor, what decade is it from? There's a picture. Now, the next question is number three. What train station is this bear from? It was named after. The bear's named after a train station, so what is the bear? Next one, number four, also name the train in the picture. And it's got one, two, three, four possible, well, could be more and more answers, but yeah, got to give you two, four possible answers for this one. But yeah, name the train, please. Number five, what's this famous train called? What do you call it? What's it? What, what, what? It's a little picture, so it's going to be a little bit odd. Number six, what's this famous London Underground train? Off you go. I'll give you three choices. Northern, Central, Circle. One of them. And last but not least, the world's most famous steam train. And what's its name? I'll be glad if you get this, guys. It's a really famous train. Now we sorted out all the questions. Now we're going to do the, yeah, ask you question number one, didn't I, about this train? What famous um, TV show is it from? It's Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. If you wrote anything related to Thomas, it's still a point, isn't it? Okay, number two. This here, the bus, the 16 bus. What decade? And the decade is the 1980s. The next one, the famous bear. We all know the famous bear. You got to. It's Pannington Bear or Pannington Station, whatever one you put. Also, this one here, this train is train. You could have wrote the name of the train that was on the side. We'll give you a point for that. Uh, yeah, this is also known as the 430066 because it's the number of the train. Or the Class 43 or the Intercity or the Intercity 125. One of them is an answer. But yeah, if you wrote the name of that down, that'd be good. And number five, the most famous... What's the most famous train called? And it's the Flying Scotsman. Yeah. Which is here. I've got it here. 
blind Scotsman. Very famous. London North and Eastern Railways. I'll give an extra point if you've got that as well. The North London for N L N E R. London North and Eastern Railways. Okay, and this one? I asked you was it the uh, um what underground line is it northern, central or circle, that one there? It's just a car it's just a carriage at the moment. It's not the front bite, so it makes it a bit tricky. It's actually the northern line. This is actually the northern stock. And one of them got me got on my hand. Then the train set was a bit fragile. Famous train. Number seven question now. Famous train. It's the rocket. Thank you for joining the quiz. I'll see you guys on Monday. It'll be a different video, it won't be a quiz, because the quiz is at the weekend. But yeah. Until next time, catch you then. This is going to be a moment we're going to have. We're not, these trains are not going to be any more. Um, they're supposed to be here for a while. I'm saying these won't be here anymore. Documents in history, these are sadly going to go in two weeks. So it's just a special video just to get these. I hope to get some more of these tomorrow. I hope to get them as much as I can before they actually go because I'm going to really miss them. They're such a beautiful train. You know, look at the streamline on that. You know, it's, it's so, oh, it's going to miss. I've got them in model trains, which is a bonus. But yeah, it's very sad to see it go. Be cool to go and get this actual number. This actual number. 43318. If I can get that model, I'd be brilliant. Brilliant. I was hoping to see this one tonight. And uh, these trains won't be here ever again. November. I think they've got a couple of weeks left in November. And then you're, ne you're never going to see them ever again. Basically, goodbye. But I need to see this. I need to write this down. Oh. Documented history right here. Class 43, this is the 43318. Oh, it's, I'm gonna really miss this train. I really am. I'm not gonna, Pennington hasn't got them anymore. Class 43s. King's Cross has still got them, which I'm happy to see here. I'm gonna really miss this train. I'm happy it's here. Should get the noise of the engine for the last time. Could get this from my new intro, couldn't I? You know, I have the intro. I have the noise from this train for my intro. I'm gonna change it to this train. This train you're watching, right? It's gonna be the next video. As in, this video of the trains I'm filming now, this would be the intro. This would be the sound I'm gonna use. The sound will be coming from here, the engine, because you're not going to hear it ever again. So I'm going to get a video of this, convert it into music files. Yeah. It's going to be missed. It's going to be missed.